Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right. I have a question that was actually emailed to me. It comes from a uh, Dino, who I actually nicknamed Dean the Machine. He came to our golf schools and, uh, that, I, that, we, that uh, Dave Seaman and I did in uh, Reno a uh, few months back. And Dean wrote in and has a question in what he wrote me, as well as some comments. He goes, Serge, former student at Reno, I bought the putting videos covering Harvey Ward some times ago. That's the, the putting secret of E. Harvey Ward that, that I did with Jack Moore who actually got that secret. And every bit of it is absolutely true in that E. Harvey, Harvey Ward did have a putting secret he maintained. E. Harvey Ward's from North Carolina. I, I spoke to when Jack re, uh, told me about this. He didn't actually tell me the secret yet because he had sworn an oath to E. Harvey that he would never reveal it. And uh, so he couldn't tell me, and, and, but I, I wanted to get it because, boy, Jack Putt Moore puts the dimples off the ball, and it's every day. It's not, it's not one day on, one day off. It's always it's, it's so good, it's ridiculous. And he makes more 20, 30, 40, 50 bomb, foot bombs than anybody I've ever seen. Never mind, makes, makes, I mean, he hits the ball four feet by the hole, just takes a quick look at it, and walks in, and bam, slams him right in there. And so I kept that. One day I said, you know, what the heck are you doing, man? You've got to tell me. I, as you know, I could definitely use some putting help. And uh, he couldn't, he said, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, I, I promised somebody I'd never tell you. So one day I begged him to tell me, and, 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 and he still wouldn't do it. And so finally what he did was, is he searched out and found uh, E. Harvey Ward's wife. She's still in, uh, alive and she's living in, because E. Harvey died about, I think, eight or ten years ago. And, and I think by now he'd be about 80, 82 years old. And, and Mrs. Mrs. Harvey was still alive. Jack called her, introduced himself, and, and spoke with her and asked if he could be released from the, from the, the oath because he wanted to, to spread, he wanted to give it to the world and by starting off giving it to me. And I promised, I promised Jack that, that, that if, he, if he would talk to her and, and, and she got released, that, that we would donate a percentage of every video that sold to uh, a charity that she knows Mr. Harvey would like. So every month uh, our, we send her a check or when, whenever there is check, need to send checks, we send it to her for the percentage and, and, uh, and she donates it to the, the charity uh, that, that, that she established for, for this to happen or one that, that whatever happens, but I know we send a check. So for that, with that in mind, there was a secret. Plus, I, play in, I, I was playing in the Carolinas PGA Senior Tournaments back then, and I know a lot of guys who played golf against Harvey, guys that, was, that, now, that are now almost close to their 80s that, that, that back years ago were, were still competing in our, in our senior tournaments. And I've asked them numerous ones. I've asked at least a dozen of them. Yeah, did you ever play with E. Harvey? Yep. How good a putter was he? The best. And he had a great short game, too, one of the best short games. Uh, did you ever hear anything him talk about or people say that he had a secret? Yes. Uh, did, he ever, did he ever tell anybody, you or anybody that you know of? Nope. It was it was it was a absolutely sacred secret that he didn't tell anybody. And Jack was and Jack got it by. And if you watch the video, you'll find out how Jack got it. We talked about it in there. It's too long a story to tell you now. But Brad Jack was in the right place at the right time. Jack Moe was at the as I said, right place, right time. And and because somebody came along that was very important in the world of golf and asked Harvey for help and and. E. Harvey, uh, e. Harvey gave that person the help and invited Jack to listen to the lesson. And after the lesson, that's when he made Jack swear that he wouldn't give the information away. So with that in mind, he says, I brought the putting videos covering E. Harvey Ward some times ago. In those videos, you and Jack Moore both state that the odd conventional wisdom of having your dominant eye, eye right over the ball and on the putting line is wrong. And I have been working with that thought. Recently, I bought a copy of Dr. Lampert's book, The Pro's Edge. That's Dr. Lampert, the, the uh, uh, ophthalmologist that I, that I do a lot of studying with. It's a great book. And, and, and he's the gentleman that says unequivocally and has a chapter in his book that says, you cannot wear bifocals and trifocals and play golf. Okay? And that, that's a book that you see me, if you catch all of these videos, you see me hold up and show and read, and, 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 and read those words right in, that, in the chapter where it's written. So he bought, he bought Dr. Lampert's book, The Pro's Edge, and note that he was advocating using the old wisdom setup. When I played with you in Reno, I noted that you weren't quite setting up like I thought Jack was in the videos, but I was thinking more about the swing rather than putting, so I might have missed something. You appeared to be quite square in your address at putting, if I remember correctly. Jack advocates open, so you can see down the line better. I would appreciate any comments and corrections in my statements. And by the way, the PPGS swing is working great for this old guy. More scores, 
My scores are steady, steadying down, and I believe I'll be into the 30s regularly on nine sooner. One uh, on nine soon, one time so far. Okay, and so that's that's from Dean the Machine. And Dean, I wrote Dean this answer. I'm going to paraphrase it and read some points. I started off Dean the Machine. Many teachers believe the eyes must be over the ball. Dr. Dave Pelts also said in his book, Putting Like the Pros. On the other hand, Dr. Ralph, Ralph Mann, a PhD in biomechanics, did an extensive study in the late 80s of tour players putting setup and found that virtually zero, none of them had their eyes directly over the ball. All right? I could go into it a lot more, but just take it. That's the fact. That's a fact. He's got, he's got the scientific data to, to prove it. As for me setting up like Jack Moore does and hitting putt in the putting secret, I do not set up like him. I am a little open, as he advocates, but I stand a lot taller than he does as he bends over more at the waist. Jack Moore puts a lot like uh, he's kind of got the Jack Nicholas look, which is which is a, a fairly narrow stance, and and I'm going to put a line on the ground here, and and if he keeps he gets back behind the ball, and he's got the ball somewhat up in in uh, just a little left of his stance, kind of closer to the left heel. He's looking down the line. The putter comes back and through, and it will have some rotation in it because he's still going to allow his shoulders to rotate, and he's going to and he's going to hit, and, and the club will come back slightly open and hit it square at impact and uh, and close. That's what is known as the term. One of the things that people talk about now that the putter has to arc, and yes, it has to arc because it's still. The arms are rotating in a ball and socket joint connected in the shoulder, and that ball and socket joint and its rotation involved. Okay, so it has to open a little square up and then and then and then shut down, or as we call in the swing, take it into the catch's mid toe up and up the tree, come back to impact and go into the forward catch's mid toe up and up the tree, equal on both sides. So he said the key to so I went on to say to him, the key to all instruction videos that our PPGS Foundation is that I and other instructors featured like DJ, Jack, Dave Seaman, Kenny Knox, they have their thoughts and special nuances that all must conform to PPGS on, 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 square, and solid, to hit the ball solid, and, and it also in setup and swing. So I'm never going to let anything come on this site or introduce any, any, any swing theories or setup theories or any golf clubs or whatever that I don't think are good conform to physics and will and, and will help us. I'm not going to do like a lot of sites out there that, that go out and find anything that has to do with swing that somebody will give them the rights to that stuff to go ahead and sell because why if we all believe and especially I believe that this is absolutely the swing, the only swing because it's the only one that conforms to physics and physiology and when God created the world he created the physics and everything on it and in this world to conform to the physics including our bodies. He did not give, he did not violate the uh, use of uh, having to conform to physics to the human body and especially and especially to the golfers to violate the, the physics okay when they swing a golf club all right so with that in mind anything I present is always going to be in conformity to the laws of physics and the way our body's designed to move but hey we all have nuances we're all a little bit different here and there and that's what I'm bringing up in this in this in, in, in finishing off when I read this so it has to conform to on 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 in all the laws of physics and physiology but the beauty of the PPGS setup and swing being not only first and foremost conforming to physics and physiology and being body friendly is that PPGS allows for the golfer to make and or fine tune adjustments to find what works best for him and her. Do you hear what I just said? It allows you to make fine tune adjustments. And I've said this a few times and I'm really starting to press this, press this a lot more lately is that, that so many surgites take every word exactly for what I say and I, and I appreciate that but remember we are not exactly the same we, we have different body shapes body sizes body abilities body disabilities some people are, are more flexible than others. others some are much more much more tight than others and so you have to take the basics of those words exactly as I say them but you're allowed to bend it a little bit and reshape it a little it, it's sort of like it's sort of like play-doh or, 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 or some type of wires that you can bend them a little bit to, to, to shape them away that you need to, to be able to grab better or move, or move better. So we can, you need to start doing all of that. And, and so that's what I'm saying here. Take the words, but find out if any modifications slightly, and start with very, very little ones, and start moving a little bit. And what's going to be the key that, they're, that, 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 that it works? If all of a sudden you start, like for example, I, I do with a lot of golfers, they got their feet dead straight. And, 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 their, and their legs are moving and everything else, you know, they're straightening up and all that. And I get them to, to, and they can't, they have trouble shifting their weight or getting to their finish or whatever. And we flare them a little bit. And next thing you know, 
bam, they're getting, they're getting, they're making a better lift, they're getting to impact better, they're getting to their finish better. Everything's starting to work better. Why? Because we've, we've advanced, we've improved their range of motion, but no matter how much we improve their range of motion, it still has to make, maintain motion and maintain their angles, right? And so, what is it? You start hitting the ball better, so you might try a little bit more, and he's still hitting it better, he would try a little bit more. At some point, better is going to start fading out and becoming worse, so you know, it need, you, need, you know where to get back to. I do that all the time when, I'm putting, when I get clubs and I'm putting magic, magic dust on it, it's, it's some, most people call it lead tape. I mean, I just don't put a piece of tape on there and, and just leave it. I'm going to put it on and start hitting golf balls. And if I and if I hit the ball better, I might put a little bit more. And and I'm going to keep I'm going to keep putting a little bit more until until better starts to deteriorate. And then I go back to where better was. Then I might maybe start moving it around that amount around a little bit and see what happens. Eventually, after I massage things one way or the other with the club, as I well I do in setups, I'm, I'm going to do in a setup and trying to hit a golf ball and in a swing. At some point the better is going to start deteriorating and going to bad, going to not so good and less good and bad. But you don't even want to take it to less good. Once it's not so good and, and you go one step more and boom, that's it. You, you, start back and you start going back to what was the better, where, where you at the better or best, all right? So that's the big message I'm trying to get out lately. So to find out what works best for him or him, the, him or her, the key is to try and stay as close to the premises as possible, but you can in most cases and must tinker with and, and try slight adjustments using trial and error to see if there's something better for you. The key is to stay relatively close to the main premise of PPGS setup and swing and not get radical. Your swing is, is in balance and ball striking are your guides for freeing her out if the changes are for you. You may get to a point where you are hitting it well and making one more slight adjustment then starts to make it worse or at least less well. You know it's now you've gone too far and it's time to back down to the last good results in that setup and swing. Okay? So I think Dino brought up a point. I'm still a pretty good putter, but I can't really putt like Jack out of the stance Jack does has in, in the stroke he makes. I know it works for me but I make slight adjustments. You need to do all of that for you, from putting to chipping, pitching sand, all the way through your setup and swing. Okay, and that even goes for, that even goes for going out now and then and testing other golf balls to see if, if you hit a ball and it feels better and, and, and performs better for you and everything else, okay? So, my words, my words are written for everyone to understand, hopefully, and they're just, and I speak them for everyone to understand, hopefully in general terms. But in the, in the end, general terms is not each and every one of you individually. So it's okay to must, it's okay to step outside the line a little bit, step outside the box, and and do a little bit of testing because that's the basic premise and the beauty of the peak performance golf swing. You we we have parameters, all right, and 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 you need to go ahead and 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 stretch that world a little bit and and do some adjustments. Unless if you're hitting it really great and you think it's it, that's it. Then you don't need to fool. But if you think there might be something a little bit more that you could try, and and maybe that you think you know that you should be able to hit it better, then go ahead and test, test everything as long as it stays really close to the parameters. But slight adjustments can make a big difference. And then that slight little bit more at the end, and it starts deteriorating. You know where to go back to and stay there. Okay. Well, that's it for the search for today about keeping our minds open and, and going ahead and and uh, and and. and testing your swing a little bit and, 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 and making slight adjustments to see if it can help you make a peak performance swing with these slight adjustments that will give you even better results to hit better shots more often and, and, and therefore shoot those lower scores. That's it for the search for today and I'll be talking with you all again soon.